God makes you think that what you have done will stand the test of time. If not, sir, because of the integrity of the members of the State Working Committee, the real language in our letter is that we are rejecting. We are rejecting what is in circulation. It is unacceptable to us. I believe it is the state that has delivered that should be given the right of first refusal and not the excuse that was being peddled. That is, Abia State does not have a governor. And so whatever leadership position comes to the Southeast should go to Abia. I think it is demoralizing. Hey, what the buzz goes on? Tinibu has just started. Oh, some of my country people aggrieved APC members has come out to reject the zoning arrangement for the House of Representatives. Hmm. And all this argument eh, is the thing is that it's not even about the people, eh, it is all about the political classes. Because if it is about the people, why is it that the country that they legislate has no electricity, no road, no good hospital, no good school? What a shame. It is all about, you know, their form or ways of draining more from the commonwealth. Anyway, watch the interview with Shewu on Channels TV, guys. Actions we're getting reactions from the governor of Ondo State, Governor Rotimi Akredolu, who in a statement has said that that arrangement is cute. How would you have a Northwest Deputy Senate President and a Northwest Speaker of the House? of representatives out of the four leading presiding officer roles in the national assembly two are from one zone he said notice and north central are definitely out of the equation so let's talk about this one of the uh, front line uh, contenders in that race for the speaker is a member of the house of reps and the chair of uh, the house committee on uh, navy and um, of course, uh, a returning member from Plateau State, member of the APC, Honorable Yusuf Gagdi, joined us live here in the studio. Thank you so much, Honorable Gagdi. Thank you, my brother. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Uh, I saw and I watched those step back, and I saw that some of you were very upset about it. I mean, there was a mention that there was no consultation. Really? Is that what really happened? Yes, that was what really happened. None of us was consulted, and that is why you saw that protestation. We are not aware of anything, just like any other Nigerian. We saw it in the media platform, particularly social media. And we confirmed it when we saw the national publicity of our party come to the media and confirm that, yes, the statement generated from them. And so, haven't got that confirmation. We can, I can confirm to you for free that there was no consultation. So, I mean, everyone knows that this arrangement or this election is election in the hollow chamber. Whatever politicking that goes on before you enter into that chamber in June is all but whatever happened there. What happened and what is more important is what happened in the hollow chamber. Now, one other thing that some of you talked about is the zoning. What is in the zoning that is not sitting down well with you? If from the little statement that you caught me saying, I reminded the party of the motto of APC, which is justice, peace, and unity. From the statement of the governor of Ondo State, whom I respect so much, where is the justice? Where is the intention for peace? And where is the intention for unity? If four presiding officers of the National Assembly, two of such will be zoned to a particular geopolitical zone. Assuming that is done, based on reward system, in the northern Nigeria, I've said it elsewhere, that we have three geopolitical zones, the northwest, the northeast, and the north central. In all of these three, the, the zone that you get predominant number of Christians is not central. Look at the Muslim Muslim ticket that our party is being accused. And yet it is the same North Central that have mixture of religion that deliver better to the APC. I have my reason for saying this. In the presidential election, the North Central donated four states out of six to president-elect. Our father, our leader, Aswa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu. The Northwest donated two states out of six or seven. But they and have more figures than you, uh, not Central. It's, it's, if it is about figure, why was the presidency zoned to the south, then part of Nigeria? 
Hence, the figure of vote in the North is more than that of the South. And we had a Northern candidate for the presidency. It is about equity, justice, fairness. It is not about figure. It is about even the number of representations. So what about the argument of the Northwesterners who say, look, we have always delivered for this party. If not for the Northwest, Olatinobo wouldn't have emerged. I, I, don't, I don't want to join issues with those advocating for that in the Northwest. If you look at seven, the G7 group of seven aspirants that protested and went to the National Secretariat of the party, three aspirants are from the Northwest. It means we are fighting for justice, equity, and fairness, not even whether you are from here or there. But again, we are not saying that party should not zone position. We are saying party should zone position. But President Muhammad Buhari have laid a very good foundation for equity, for justice, for fairness. What is this foundation? The foundation is that if you look at the manner within which presidential primary election is conducted, that is the foundation for equity. His vice president was contesting. Other persons from southern Nigeria were contesting. But they zoned the presidency, haven't pronounced that the presidency should go to the north. Northern governors whom I all respect those decisions, just like um, we are respecting the position of the governor of Ondo State today, said that no, in matter of fairness, in matter of justice, in matter of equity, Northerners have produced presidency for eight years of Muhammadu Buhari. Let it shift and rotate to the southern part of Nigeria. And it shifted. In that circumstance, I know nowhere that our party and Mr. President decide to anoint a candidate among the southern candidates. Delegates were allowed to come and choose whosoever. And based on the pedigree and outstanding performance of the president-elect, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the delegates of the APC decided to elect him as the flag bearer of our party. Why not the party join in, join in fairness? In fairness means that the North Central have 11 senators of APC, North West have 10 senators of APC, North East have 10 senators of APC, North Central have four states for Asuwa Jubola Atinubu in time of vote. North West have only two, North East have one. In the spirit of fairness, you have the vice president there. Nobody is arguing that the vice president elect is from the, uh, the Northeast. Then keep one of the, not, it's not even about me. Now it is about justice. It's about fairness, it's about equity. One of the presiding officer should be in the Northwest. Yes, as our brothers keep us. Then the other one should be in the North Central. It means that the, there will be a trinity of representation in times of offices that have capacity, in times of offices that Mr. President will not just come one of all of a sudden and say, I don't want you, I have fired you. They have now left North Central without any of the elective presiding officers, like the vice president, like the senate president, like the deputy senate president, like the speaker, like the deputy speaker. And all the presiding officers that are zoned to the northern Nigeria have been given to one geopolitical zone. We begin to ask ourselves, have our performance to the electing the president been belated? It's a matter of justice. I'm a representative of the people. If I don't stand to say I am not comfortable in, with this, if any Nigerian failed having speaker and the deputy Senate president in the Northwest is fair, then he's not a fair Nigerian. So, I mean, the argument uh, of those who, uh, one of those, I mean, some of those who put this together is that how can the North Central be agitated when already the national chairman of your party is from the North Central? A national chairman of the party represent the party. Can the national chairman of our party speak to the interests of Labour Party members within the North Central? Can he speak for the NNPP members within North Central? Can he speak for PDP members within the North Central? He can only preside over the executive working, working committee of APC. And his powers is limited to organizing and coordinating the activities of the party at that level. Even SGF, Secretary to the Government of the Federation, his power is limited. He's an appointee of Mr. President. We said, we don't have problem with that. We have the APC party chairman, but for APC, he doesn't represent the interests of other Nigerians within the North Central or within Nigeria. So people should even not bring that. But what we are saying is the Senate president, the deputy Senate president can stand for the interests of the Northwest. He is elected. He can speak 
his mind in as much as he is speaking the mind of the people of north west so you are you right. are you advocating uh what are you advocating for the north central is uh, it the, the speaker if i or, i, or I am i am contesting for the speaker i am a nigerian i am not selfish i'm advocating that let there be fairness the two presiding officers cannot be domiciled in one geopolitical zone one even if it is the deputy Senate president that will be given to North Central, I have no problem with that whatsoever. Because Nigeria is not about me. It's about the country. It's about the unity so of look the country. At, look at how the, how the diagram looks after the, your party uh, put up the, uh, the information. And uh, this is what it looks like. So you have a Bola Tinubu from uh, Southwest, um, uh, Kashim Shatima, vice president-elect from the Northeast, then uh, uh, Pabio from South South and uh, Barao Jibrin from, uh, uh, from the Northwest, uh, Kano State, uh, the Deputy Senate President, and uh, Tajudin Abbas, Northwest from the Speaker, and Deputy Speaker uh, from the Southeast, uh, Ben uh, Kalu. Uh, in all of these, the only one you have an issue with right now is the two positions going to the Northwest. This is not the only one I have an issue with. It's the only one that all Nigerians have an issue with. How can you have representation in all the geopolitical zones except one that have done well for the party? So your party got it wrong on this note? Yes. The North Central is not represented there. And the North Central have five state governors. Five. We want five states. In addition to the fact that from 2015 till date, there is none of the six states in the North Central that have not produced two-time governor for the APC. At one time or another, it's not central senatorial district, not not northern, not northern, not uh, not central geopolitical zone have had eight years of APC administration within from 2015 till date. Is that the zone that you will say you will not zone anything? To? So what what do you say to those who say, I mean, North Central has had North Central and the South is in particular had had a very very good share of leading the National Assembly. You've had uh, David Mark, who ran the affairs of the Senate mm. for two different terms. You've had the likes of uh, Ike Kweramadu, who was Deputy Senate President for 12 years. Mm. You've had Bukola Saraki, who was a Senate President from the same Northeast, uh, Central, mm. for, for four years. Right. And uh, you've had five different yeah, Senate, show, just show. for a moment, yeah. five different Senate Presidents. Yes from the different five states of the Southeast yes. as Senate President. Yes. So there are those who say, historically speaking, if you consider history, yes. that the North Central and the Southeast have had a very good share. You are asking the wrong person this question because at the risk of sounding proud, I know a little bit about Nigerian political history. What about the Northwest that have produced Yaradua and produced Muhammadu Buhari? Has anybody said that don't zone anything to them because consecutively, Within the span of uh, uh, 16 years, they have ruled Nigeria for over 10 years. How old was Sierra Dua as a president of Nigeria? Plus Buhari's presidency of eight years. Put them together. That is number one seat of Nigeria, Shen, for God's sake. Does anybody say, why, if that, if history should be considered, in the dimension that you have put to me, where is the fairness? to warrant even zoning anything to the Northwest, if going by the antecedent of history, if we are to talk history. These are zones that have produced presidents, elected presidents. Forget about the military presidents. And nobody say, Yeradua was a president from Northwest. Buhari is a servant president from Northwest for eight years. Therefore, don't zone anything to them. I don't think, I don't think when you are taking those uh, uh, consideration, you should look at the past. Look at the press. What do you have at hand? How do you share it to ensure that you have symbolizes the motto of our party, which is justice? How do you do it in such a way that you will give sense of belonging to the citizen of this country? Mind you, but, but, it's not even about our party. Now, National Assembly is not for APC. It's for PDP. It's for NNPP. It's for Labour. It's for young YPP and what have you. They all have representation. Look at the composition. How many numbers does APC have? What does it? What, is the, what is the implication of your the party's implication decision? is that the implication is that it is very very difficult for us to realize what the party have released out. So with this, your party may not it's, be able to. It's not possible with the because threat of the what they call the larger or the uh, the greater majority 
the opposition political parties coming together and they are threatening that in the in the house they will also produce speaker and deputy speaker in the first instance aside of that threat instead of taking a fair decision that will help coordinate the apc members together and equally lobby other political parties to come and join hand with apc to have the principal officer's position you have taken the decision that is hurting even the APC members themselves in the area of justice, equity, and fairness. In this circumstance, I cannot guarantee you that even the APC members are going to vote for, even myself, I'm not going to support what, what is done. I'm not going to do it. But are you a party man? I'm a party man. But yeah. the interest of Nigeria should pretend over the interest of my party. But and more so, why do you more say... so that when the decision of my party seems to negate the principle of the party itself, I cannot be blamed for, for, for deciding to save the supremacy of the motto of my party. Mm -hmm. If tomorrow I went to the floor and I decided not to support this act of injustice, method particularly to the people of my zone, after National Assembly, I have a zone to go back to, North Central. I have a state to go back to, Plateau. If you take decision and look at today without looking at tomorrow, what do you think? What history am I laying to my children? How will people refer to them? That your father have come to the TV to launch his manifesto and advocate that speakership should go to North Central, being the only zone that from 2019 have not produced speakership, and not Northwest that have produced four speakers with, from 1999 till death, and all of a sudden they see me turning around to campaign for the same Northwest to produce the fifth speaker against the North Central that have not produced one. What happened to what the concept of I, party supremacy? Concept of party, what happened to the concept of the constitution of the party that is built on justice, peace, and unity? What would you do in this regard? I, I have told the party that the decision is anti-party law. I have told them today. So what do you think the party can do to correct this? They say they are consulted. We should give them time. You have heard from the... National political What does this come to you? I mean, because I understand that you also have consulted widely. And this decision of the party, they said it was in consultation with Bola Tinobu and other stakeholders of the party. It does look to me that it's almost casting stone. I Already we see Tajuddin Abbas meeting and consulting other people we are and equally, begging them. Have you seen us not meeting? The G7, group of seven, we are equally meeting. We are traveling. We are consulting. We are unveiling manifestos. We are launching our campaigns on daily basis. The deputy speaker is doing his own on Friday. At, uh, uh, Jaji, Honorable Jaji, who he was equally with us in the party secretariat, is doing his own on Wednesday. We are meeting members elect. We are campaigning because this election is not going to be done in the APC National Secretariat. It's going to be done at the Hello Chamber of the National Assembly. So this week. And it's a contest. If we win, fine. If we do not win, we congratulate the person that win, all things being equal. That doesn't stop anybody from saying that they don't go and represent, don't sit at that seat that is meant for the people of the country. Do you Martin. see Thank a, you, do you see a Dogara situation happening now? Very obviously. Worse than Dogara situation. Because in Dogara circumstance, the position, the representation of APC at, at that time was even higher. There was a comfortable majority in that circumstance. Let alone this circumstance we don't, that we don't have comfortable majority. I'm telling you, in Dogara situation, there was no even coalition of aspirants that are coming together to say, no, we are against this, we don't like this. But in this circumstance, me, I'm not fighting an individual. I'm only fighting for justice. I'm only saying that justice must be done. All in right. the course of this, I have no problem with anybody. The, the, the caucus of the APC in the National Assembly from the North Central, uh, they've released a communique, and that part of that communique, I mean, you can see a list of uh, members of uh, the APC from the North Central region agitating and saying that this is injustice and it will not stand. On a final note, uh, where does your party go from here? Do you see, and if you are sending out a warning, this is perhaps one thing that Bola Tinubu, a test to his uh, political sagacity, what warning will you be sending out? But Femba Gabi Amila is your good friend. What are the kind of things you'll be t telling them tonight? He is my boss, not only my good friend, he's still the speaker and I have so much respect. I will not join issues with him. I believe the president-elect is a Democrat. And I believe uh, uh, he is not aware of most of these things happening. I am a stakeholder in this process. By the way, I'm an aspirant. 
I look forward to when Mr. President-elect will sit with some of us. He will know a lot of things that he didn't know prior to this time. And APC is democracy. And Suwadu uh, Ahmed Tinubu is a father of all. I am very optimistic that this is not a problem. We are only saying that there is injustice. I'm sure he will look back, sit all with right. us, and sit with the members of the APC mm. and consult widely for a fair and just decision to be taken in the collective interest all of right. everybody in the party.